Optical prospections allow to gain information about the Earth's subsurface. It is possible to use different methodologies based on the challenge you want to address. For example, the most common methodology applied in oil and gas exploration is seismic reflection. This methodology investigates the Earth's subsurface based on different response of rocks when crossed by acoustic waves. But now let's see how it works. The acoustic source produces elastic waves spherically propagating through the Earth. Such waves travel in the south surface till they reach a discontinuity that, in our case, could be represented by an interface between two different lithologies that are characterized by different rock properties. Each discontinuity generates a reflected waves that reach the subsurface and can be detected by an array of receivers. These receivers act as uh, recorders of the travel time between the source and the receivers. All this data will be gathered and processed in order to get the final image of the subsurface. Seismic acquisition could be performed in two different ways, onshore and offshore. The main difference between these two methodologies are the type of source and receivers. I will share with you my experience in a real seismic uh, onshore acquisition. The operation has been carried out in a desert landscape in North Africa. The first operation to do is surveying all the shut points and receiver. Then we can start to place in the ground the geophones to avoid external interference and for improving a better coupling with the ground, all the geophones are buried. Once all receivers are placed, we can start with the recording phase. The energy source is a vibrator track, thanks to a shaker put into the ground and can transmit it a series of waves. All the data are recorded, then will be delivered to a processing center where some technicians can apply a suitable processing flow to deliver a final 3D seismic volume as output ready to be interpreted by our geologists.